So how do you take a bunch of different basic shapes like these and develop them into a cute cartoon character? Stick around with me today and I'll show you how. The character we'll be drawing from shapes today is Woof from our graphic novel series Marshmallow Martians. So let's get into it. So Woof's head is a triangle, and there are actually a lot of triangles in Woof. Oop, I'm just going to move that down a bit so I have a bit more room in a second. Um, there's the head. Now we'll do another triangle for the body, and it goes out like this. It's not a very big body. And then the tail is another triangle, or at least it is for now. We'll be fixing that up when we go to uh, cleaning it up in the next step. But let's uh, get all our triangles in and a couple other shapes. So we'll do the ears, which are more triangles. There's one. There's the other one. Like that. And then we'll draw the eyes, which are circles. So there's big circles. Something like that. And then there's another one over here. And then we'll do the antenna. There's a line there, and there's another line there. And then we'll put circles on the ends. One, two. And then Woof's nose is actually a triangle. So that's good for shapes. So now what we'll do is we'll clean it up. And if you watch our other videos with the Marshmallow Martian characters, you'll see that there aren't very many sharp corners on these characters. So we'll have to really look at that when we do this cleanup. So for the ears, I'm just going to make sure that this top corner is rounded. And then instead of making it a round triangle, I'm going to actually do something like this. It's almost like a, like a taco shape, actually, an upside down taco. Like that. And then let's do the head while we're dealing with the ears. Whoops. Sometimes it's hard to get just the right line that you want. You can sort of see it on your page, but it just doesn't want to work once you start drawing it. And that's okay. That's why we have erasers and things like that. Okay, and then I will draw like this and round out this little corner down here. And then continue this line up. And then let's draw the nose first so that we don't draw over top of it. And then we'll draw those circles for the eyes. There's one. There's two. And now let's do the body. So just like the other parts, we're not going to keep these sharp corners of the triangles, but we are going to use them sort of as guides for us. So we'll do something like this. I just noticed I made the body a little too long when I was using the shapes. So I'll shorten it up now, and that's totally fine. That's part of the fun of drawing is just making adjustments as you go. So now we'll draw the tail. So again, it's sort of a similar shape to the ears. It's something like this. Those taco shapes, which is kind of fun. Now we'll draw the pupils in the eyes. They're ovals. They're not quite circles. Something like that. Whoops, let's fix it. There we go. And now I'll draw the little eye shine, which is just another little oval in the top left side of the eye. Now before I forget, I will do the eyelashes. So there's one, two, three on each eye. One, two, three. And now let's do those antenna. So we'll start with the circles. And then we'll draw curved lines down. And they basically start and end at the same places as, as the straight lines that we had a second ago. There we go. And now we'll draw the mouth, which we didn't do a shape for. But it goes something like this. There's a little line there and then another little line here. Then we'll have his mouth open. So we'll just do a shape like this, like an upside down U, and we'll put the tongue in there. And now one detail about Woof that we need to add is there's a stripe on his, uh, let me see, his right eye, which is the eye on the left side of the screen. So it looks something like that. And then I add a couple other little extra lines to give some dimension or like make it look a little more 3D, the different parts of the body. And it's really just the ears and the tail. And then sometimes I put a line right here on the body. 
So let's just turn off our shape sketch and see how this is looking. It's looking good. I'm just going to darken up a couple of these lines. They're getting a little bit lost. All right, there's Woof, and there he is colored. Uh, feel free to color yours however you'd like. That was really fun drawing with you today. It's always fun to do these shape exercises and see how you can make things out of shapes. And I hope you'll check out our other videos on YouTube and try out drawing other characters from shapes. Thanks for drawing with me today.